Well, you old bastard, you got away with it. I'll drink to that. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Fill my mouth then, you greedy bastards. Alright then. <coughs> weird, you never got off a charge before. Yeah, you've been on enough. I'll charge you loads of times. Yeah, remember that time I shot in the mess team? You gave me back the queue saying if you've got to look at the food. Yeah. See how many times have you done for accidental discharge of your weapon? I've never had one of them. What? You think I'm a rubbish fucking soldier? I've never fired my weapon accidentally. I heard you got done for accidental discharge of your rifle into the back of an officer's head. That wasn't no fucking accident. <laughs> Boogle was a danger, danger to himself and to his men. <coughs> to my friends, Boogle had never been a danger to the enemy. And I didn't shoot through the back of the head. Too bleeding and obvious. I got him through his equipment, sort of angle shot, so it looked like an accident. Didn't kill the bastard, though, should have done. And then he wouldn't have wasted all the medics' time. Still, he has a nice permanent injury to remind himself of his war efforts. Yeah, what, well, Mr. Owen, um, is he your newfound hero? I thought you hated all officers before. Man is true and genuine. Don't meet many of those hereabouts. And he has a gift, I do believe. What difference does that make here, though, eh? It means I'll go and fight for him. That's the difference. I don't know what you're going to go on for. This war's nearly over. Nearly over? Nearly over? How do you know that? It's all when you're watching a game of football, isn't it? You say you're on a draw. How long does that last few minutes go on for? Seems like forever, doesn't it? You wanted to get it over, but they could score, or you could score. So all three possibilities are still open until that last whistle. That last few minutes goes on and on, don't it? Yeah, but you know a football match is going to end, though, don't you? And until that end, you keep on playing. Do you want to be taken off before the final whistle? <coughs> or do you want the final whistle to go before the end of the game and leave all the players wondering what might have happened? No. I'll see this one out till the final whistle. This ain't a fucking game. Of course it's a fucking game. But we ain't the players, nor the puppet master. Merely the puppets. And now, with what Mr. Owen is writing and saying, well, we have something. We have a voice. He has given us that. Particularly those of us no longer here. But we've still got no choice. You wouldn't have said that at the beginning, though, would you? No, I would not have even considered it. None of us would. But now I will consider it. <coughs> and I will follow Mr. Owen because he's given me some faith. Not own, but some faith. Oh, in what exactly? I don't know. I'll tell you after the war. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, listen, you lads ought to start making yourself scarce because Mr. Owen is coming in to do his briefing in a minute. But we want to stay, don't we, old booger? Yeah. Bit louder, lad. Do we, or do we not want to stay here about the final show of this war? Yeah. <laughs> well, there's your answer, come on. We're not moving out this nice, cosy little cellar. Yeah, you said it, little. But I think Company HQ are going to move in here as well, so where are you going to sleep, Private Jackson? On the floor, like I always do. Well. Maybe we'll have a nice soft bed soon, eh? Are we looking forward to that, are we? Well, we'll be home. All this will be over, so of course we will. And what are you going to do then? You'll be out of a job for a start. What are you going to do? Go back to an old job? What did we do before this war? You see, we are not sure. Do we talk about that? Do we know? Do we want to know? No, because we are afraid. We won't be afraid when we get back home, will we? No more bombardments, no more snipers, no more running past gaps in trenches, worrying about getting your head shot off, no more sitting, taking a shit, wondering whether you're going to get your head shot off. Well, listen, you have spent half your life having a shit, so it's a wonder you haven't been shot there already. <laughs> but it's time yet, you wait. Shit, cool. Better get concentrated then. We <laughs> yeah. don't eat any more of that, and you will be. <laughs> However, you may want to take one down. There's nowhere to go down here though, in this cellar, is there? I'm not going out there. Well, yeah, well when you do go, make sure you dig the shit out as far away. Not like last time when you were too scared to get away from the section of the bunkers. You lot, a bunch of fucking amateurs. You ever been in a trench full of bodies? You better have been sent to bury bodies and found them completely blocking the trench. So you had to stand on them, then show yourself and risk joining them. Have you smelt that? Have you? Listen, Jackson, not all of us are professional soldiers like you. <coughs> Some of us are just here for the party, then we're going home. For you lot, maybe. For me, it'd be the same. You've been in this war one day, one week, one year. 
You will be broken when you get back. Broken and rootless. You will dream of this. You will hear the bombardments when you're alone in your bedroom after the sun has gone down and the candle gone out. They will keep you safe then, eh? No more bombardments, you say? Not true. They will stay with you and follow you around forever. And then, when you try to speak to your friends and your family, if you have any of those, they will laugh at you. They'll actually laugh at you and say, stop talking about that stupid war, it's over. But for you, it will not be over. Never. And what will we do then? You will fall into ruin and depression. And then, God help us all, you will actually miss this. Can you imagine? You will actually <laughs> miss being here. <coughs> we'll miss each other, yes. But not here and now. We are the here and now. There is nothing else. There is nothing outside of this war. We can only do what we are doing here. We have nothing else except each other. Whatever else there was before has now gone. You're a man without hope, Jacko. I told you, Mr. Jones, give me some faith, not hope. There can be no hope when the world allows what has happened here. And you will go back and embrace that same world and be rejected by it and forgotten by it. All because you did your duty. What fools we are! Don't talk like that, Jacko! Men. Don't get this one. Some of us will survive. <laughs> Some of us will go home. Perhaps get married, have kids, perhaps be happy. What? Time to send them off to fight in the next war? Yeah, well, <coughs> maybe by then they'll give us uh, better machine guns and decent trench mortars, eh? Yeah. And better shit out of it. <laughs> <laughs> well, shit is a shit wherever you do it. Even if you're doing it when you're just dying. Well, when you got to go, you got to go. Oh, these guys want to stay for your briefing, sir. It's just these two. Well, I can't get the whole concert over to in here. And if I did, the boss would probably just walk over each other a few grenades down. Okay, for your section. Then Corporal Jones, Sergeant Hawcock, could you go around and brief the other sections together for me, please? And during the whole evening and night, there must be proper sentries posted. I don't want a single guard dropping. Very well, sir. And company commander is probably going to pay us a visit later. I think he just wants a dry cellar for a bit of a nap, so we won't get the whole age. <laughs> Don't bank on it, maybe get a cellar major as well. Well, maybe. So we need to get this briefing over with. Okay, gather around, we'll see this map, people. Okay, so, alright, so here we are. Here is the canal we have to cross. Now it's only about 500 yards from here, and we'll be leaving the brigade across. We'll have sapper support. They're going to provide us with a pre-constructed bridge with some brigade pioneer troops to put it together on site and string it across the canal. It's about 70 feet across, depth about 8 feet. Now I don't think we have any giants in the platoon who can wave that at we start to talk <laughs> uh, Private Jackson told me you could swim, so can't you? No heroics, okay? Now the approach is wet and low, and there's a bank up to the canal. The trees have all been blasted away, of course. Now we'll cover the sappers with your section, Corporal Jones, since you're all here. You'll need a Lewis gun up on the bank, probably to the left, but we'll confirm that at the time. And we need another Lewis on the far side as soon as the bridge that cross. We need three men from one of the other sections for that, Sergeant so Wilcock. I'll, uh, I'll take it across myself, sir. Uh, but where are we going to get the extra Lewis from, sir? Very good. Thanks for volunteering. <laughs> now, I have asked the company commander, sorry, begged him, for at least one more Lewis. We may not get it. In which case, we leave the one with you, Corporal Jones. So where the Bosch, sir? They'll be right there on the far bank, won't they? Thank you. There will probably be some Bosch this side. They've had time to prepare this defence. <laughs> now, we'll meet the engineer pioneers here. H hour for the lifting of the bombardment is no 545. By that time, your section will be in position, Corporal. The engineers will go forward and construct the bridge, and then on my order, the other sections, led by the Lewis, will cross and go firm on the other side. And Sergeant Alcock, as much ammo as possible for everyone. I know you've brought up everything you can. Uh, we got as much as the company gave us, sir, but not very much Lewis gun ammo, and few flares, grenades, and the like. And finally, everyone, as always, keep your respirators on hand. So, we're just going to charge them straight. 
I've been over looking out while we do it. I thought you said we've got the giants here, sir. We're all giants now, aren't we? It's like, it's like Jacko said, we're, we're, Mr. Owens, poems that make us feel like giants, don't they? Feels like, feels like. Shut up, you old boo -boo. They're about to sleep. We'll ask for your opinion if we need it. <laughs> but Mr. Owen, this is like madness. This is a real obstacle, and we're treating it like it wasn't there. What the fuck have we learned over these last four years? Obviously nothing. I hear you. But we are just one brigade, and the entire 4th Army is on the move here, don't forget. Also, we will have a full bombardment in support. This is going to happen, and we have to do the best we can. Are we clear on that? Yes, sir. So, having said that, have you any ideas how we might approach this operation? Oars. There's a lock right there, and a bridge. We could draw the Bosch away with a huge amount of direct fire against them here, or someone is pushed across there. Once they manage to get a foothold, foot they might just be able to clear along and secure the bank. Fuck's sake, we could almost jump across at the lock. Yeah, where's the direct firepower for us then? Where's the fucking tanks? We can't even get next to a Lewis gun, even though we're the leading platoon of the fucking brigade. Yeah. <coughs> and, and some of them, and their tank mortars, we, we could do with some of them and all. But now, we need the, the heavy shit, otherwise, anything we send over is just going to throw up a load of shit in the places where the Bosch aren't hiding. This is all good stuff. Unfortunately, we are but one platoon. Our duty is to do as we are told and make the very best of it. We will fight <coughs> our little battle on our terms, yes. Nobody can tell us how to do that, and I am with you boys all the way. I want your input and ideas. We will fight this together. <coughs> Sir, in the next war, can you be Commander-in-Chief? And you can be Prime Minister and promote me for <laughs> And I would have joined the Bosch. I'd be sitting in a German tank ready to blow you all to fucking hell. Maybe marry me a nice German whore. And I'll be a toothless pensioner. Beating you with me walking stick when you come home from leave. 